Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I wish to raise a matter this evening uh, for the attention of the Minister for Local Government. And it concerns an email that I received from Preet Singh, uh, that's S I N G H, um, uh, who uh, represents, uh, well, hopefully he'll be representing uh, a good number of people down in Werribee uh, if he wins a spot on the council uh, that's uh, currently being uh, counted at uh, a very slow pace, I have to say. Uh, he says, I am writing on behalf of Rothwell Estate Tarnit residents who have been deprived of basic facilities such as a park for over four years. Several promises have been made and there has been uh, no real progress. Residents have no open space to enjoy family time or even to go for a walk. We are not asking for any favours, but only that residents, only what residents were promised. As a ratepayer, residents are not happy, and this email is to register this dissatisfaction. Now, Mr. Singh um, also included a number of photos which uh, show just how appalling the condition of some of the areas uh, in the Rothwell estate are, and I have to say uh, it's quite disgusting. It is quite disgusting, and the council uh, has a fair bit uh, to, uh, to answer for uh, in this regard. And uh, I, you know, I, I recall going down to Tarnit, um, oh, it would be would be four years ago, with the uh, with a former uh, leader of the opposition, uh, to see the the destruction of the or, or see the, uh, the the community centre down there that had been completely destroyed. Uh, and it seems that uh, it's gone downhill uh, from there. Uh, this is this is just totally unsatisfactory. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, it is uh, typical of the way the Labor Party treats its own. Uh, this, is just, uh, this is just what we've come to expect from Labor councils and uh, the way they treat, uh, treat people um, who, uh, who loyally vote for them year in and year out. Maybe they'll wake up one day, I don't know. But uh, what I'm asking, uh, what I'm asking uh, the Minister to do uh, is to ensure that this situation is rectified. Now, uh, this has been, as I say, this has been going on now for, for some years. Uh, it, is, it is far from good enough. It is totally uh, unsatisfactory and uh, nobody should be forced uh, to live in an area uh, with these conditions. Uh, the, the council has a responsibility. Uh, the Wyndham Council has, a, has made uh, 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 certain commitments, has made certain promises, but has not carried those through. Now, given that um, uh, I have made numerous comments about the, uh, the Wyndham Council over a number of years now, and, and they don't seem to take much notice of anything that anybody says. Uh, I think uh, it is important that the Minister uh, makes a phone call uh, or uh, perhaps sends somebody down to, to visit Wyndham Council to ensure that they do get on with the job of, uh, of looking after the residents and the ratepayers of Wyndham and uh, giving them the fair go that they most surely deserve. Mr Quilty.